Okay, so guys, our antenna is now mounted to the wall. We got just a little bit of it sticking up above the rock to try to pick up a little bit bigger of a signal. The most important thing I want to explain to you is not to cut this cable. Okay, we're going to have to take the take the four pin connector off. The reason why we never want to cut a cable is if the antenna doesn't work out here, the biggest thing we've done is drilled two holes in the backside of a rock. So if we have to relocate this, um, we don't want to move it. The other thing is, is it's for resistance as well. So never cut the antenna cord down. You're going to get yourself into a big, big problem. This, in, this antenna cord has to stay just like this. That's why they give us a service bay in here to, to put them up. So I'm going to take a straight shot down. I'm going to jump in behind the controller, run my antenna over to the left side of the controller, try to straighten out my cord as much as I can to make my life a little easier here. And really good way to jump behind these guys is obviously get these guys folded back is the way that jandies are, you can just simply tuck right straight behind them. Hopefully pop out on the other side. Sometimes it can be a little, little fun. But, or you can drop all the way down to the bottom, which we're going to do, and go behind all the conduits, and go the other way. So at the bottom of our low voltage bay, there's uh, usually two to three ports that you can come up through. Doesn't matter which one you come up through, we just want to send our wire in the bottom, pull that up nice and tight. We're going to go ahead and hook back on our four pin connector. So basically we're back in on our four pin connector. So let me run through these colors with you one more time. Red is your power, black and yellow become your data, and green is your ground. So we can go ahead and drop this screw out for our last time. And at this point we're gonna route our wire back in behind the chase, and we're gonna plug it into our other COM port. And the very, very last thing that I always taught myself how to do, guys, because none of this 24 volt bay is hot right now and all my high voltage down here with our 24 volt wires going to our relays in the high voltage bay my 24 volts hasn't been plugged in because i haven't plugged it into the transformer and that's going to drop right here on the back of the three pin or back on a three pin connector that's going to plug back in the wires come towards you but uh, we can go at this point now we can go ahead and and bolt down our bezel board one last time and we would be done with that process there is no longer a 9 volt battery by the way either it's got a battery backup built into it and we can lock him down so pretty much the last thing we want to do is tuck back in our voltage our our low voltage bay and kind of clean him up make sure nothing's going to be hitting with our panel the other thing is we got to get rid of and wrap all this extra antenna wire up. So what I usually do is start by bringing them up to the middle, kind of creating yourself a kind of a lazy figure eight, if you will. And the reason why I kind of picked that is if you notice, there's a little bit of an opening right here where I can tuck back in behind this support. I, so I, what I'm gonna do is take a wrap and wrap it around it for now. Also guys, if you can, buy the black zippy ties. They're uh, UV protected. They don't, they don't break down as fast. They last a little bit longer. Even though they're in a board, they're just much stronger zippy ties. So don't waste your money on the white ones. Spend a little bit more money and get the black one. So now basically the way I started that wire, I can just take this wire, kind of feed it in here gently, tuck it up in there. So at this point, we're pretty much done wiring anything in here so i'm going to go ahead and just place this back on my screws are down in the bottom but i'm not going to screw it up yet because i want to make sure before i go in and screw it all together that i don't have any problems all right guys so kind of moving backwards here we want to kind of go back in and just kind of visually inspect our wires and if you look what i found look what's happened here and moving stuff around um you know we're the United Pool Association. We want to kind of make sure we own our work and make sure that everything is clean. But look at that. The black wire has now fallen out of that four pin connector. So the easiest way for me to fix that before I power this whole thing back up is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to address it one more time. The other thing is I want to make sure that the next guy that comes to this board, he doesn't have any crisscrossed up wires. So we want to, we want to make sure that we're, we're doing professional stuff and at the same time we're allowing other guys to to take over and just make sure that we don't have a bird's nest going on in here but this is gonna this right here that i just caught 
would have caused us some serious problems because our spa site obviously would not have been getting any data. And the problem is, is our, our cords here are a little bit tight. So what I'm gonna do is to, to, to make that a little simpler, I'm gonna switch these two. Okay, so guys, before we, uh, before we close all this up, we wanna make sure that we never cross any low voltage, this is our low voltage bay on the extreme left. We never want to cross low voltage into our high voltage bay. It has to stay separate. So one thing I like is when this guy did do his high voltage bay, you notice that he's bent all these wires really clean. We're, you, we're United Pool Association members, guys. We want to own our work, and, and this was a very clean install. So as I found this board and came across it, I admired this guy's work of how he's got all his wires laying down in here. I. I, I want to make sure that I do the same thing and you got to own it so you know make sure that everything's clean so that if you ever do come back you're not fighting a headache later. Just double checking all my all my plugs are plugged in and I'm ready to put my inspection cover back on. So again this battery port where the 9 volt battery is you kind of got to tweak the panel to get it in behind the lip and away we go. So making sure that we're going to symmetrically fit because we can move that bezel board and we did pretty good here we're, we're going to be able to bolt it all up.